Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm joined by Laserbeam and All today right. we're trying everything. We're trying like every <laughs> single YouTuber product and we're going to rate them from who's the biggest sellout. So who's the biggest sellout? We'll just yeah, get look. Eatsides.com. <laughs> so we have sides and we have XIX. Oh. <laughs> Mm, that's smooth. Yeah. That's good. We need to see if sides is better than KFC. Ooh, I like the packaging. It's my first mukbang, dude. Really? It's because your content is really like highly produced and like full of effort. Everyone. I try, yeah. I came all the way from Australia for this video. The Sidemen yeah. stuff was on the side. 2022 is a year when YouTubers just would- Just take, please take my shit video. and post it on the Instagram story. <laughs> it ain't going on my story. I'm unwrapping the burger. Am I, do you want me to eat? Yeah, that's what you're here Ooh, for. Damn. The chicken looks fried quite well. The lettuce looks like it was raised uh, free range. Um, <laughs> the mayo is looking nice and creamy and we love good, good cream. I need to get you some napkins because you are... Mm. It definitely tastes good. As far as chicken burger, I'd give a solid eight. I'm not, I'm giving you honest reviews. Okay. Like if Prime tastes like dog shit, I'm telling you <laughs> Prime tastes like dog shit. I got the naked chicken. The chicken is very tasty though. I'm gonna eat this whole thing, so that's a good start. It's definitely the best fast food burger I've had in England. Australia is just better in general. Sorry, that might offend you. I don't fucking care, cancel me. But it's the best I've had in England, so top, top tier, I like it. I mean, have you had fried chicken since you've been here? <laughs> no, I have actually. No, I had Shake Shack. Oh, there you go. There you Better go. than Shake Shack. See, there we go. Since this is like, you guys just pulling some shit out your ass. Not literally, not the food, <laughs> but the idea of the food. Props, props. The real test is if Ilsa likes it. Okay. So. That looks like a dog poo shape. <laughs> Take some chicken, pick the sauce. Vic will punch you in the mouth if you say it's not good. I would eat this hungover and I would be very satisfied. Children. I'm not trying to be a suck up, but I, this is really, I really like this. I'm not trying to be a suck up. <laughs> I'm like, this is the best chicken I've ever had. But no, it's actually really, really good. I really like the seasoning on it. We literally have the whole spectrum. It's get fucking pissed on XIX, wake up the next day, eat sides, hydrate with Prime maybe, and um, celebrate with a beast bar. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck, when you... It's top tier fast food chicken, that's for sure. I exclusively live off Uber Eats at home, because he also doesn't cook. Why are you laughing? Do you cook? She got you there. Yeah, true. <laughs> She's actually mad at me. Now. We're gonna try and get it. Uber Eats get Australia. It in, get it into Australia. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be your ambassador. Put me on some billboards. Give me 50% of the company in my country. I'm sure we can make it happen. Mac and cheese, very good. I just prefer the chicken. Waffle fries. Oh my God. We left that box closed. That's the problem. You deliver food and it like condensates in the box a bit. They're yeah. tasty though. You're delivering food. There's only so much you can do. So, Sidemen, physical locations when? Soon. We ran one in Dubai that was absolutely popping. No way. Wow. Everything. One this of everything. Is, this is, it's, it's real. I'm amazed how well you have created a restaurant. I can't believe you had a sip of that vodka and didn't even fucking break a sweat. I'm a fucking gun. The food is definitely good. I'm not going to give it a Michelin star. It kicks ass compared to other burgers and stuff. We've got our food and you know what? I feel like I want to drink. I want to mix Prime and XIX and see what it tastes like. That is what I want to do. It doesn't burn. That's good for me. Hold on. A little bit of... Hey. I've tried the red one, but I haven't tried any of the others. Packaging, beautiful. Strong. So what we'll do the little wine, we'll just swirl it around. It smells very orangey. It does smell like orange. The thing is, from the smell, you can't tell if it's artificial yeah. orange or real tasting orange. Do they actually use oranges for there's it? There's no way. I, I'd be impressed if they do, but I don't think there's any way. Brother, there's like some fucking big ass words on here and I don't know what any of them say. Are they sure this won't give me like mad diseases? I do like that it's caffeine free. I they? have my like one shot of coffee a day. Any more than that just sends me into like a mad anxiety shock. You don't want too much caffeine. All right. Okay. All right, let's try it. That tastes really good, but I don't believe it's healthy. There's fucking no way. Like Logan or JJ could make a video on this. Take like one kid or two kids, put them in a lab. <laughs> Just feed them only prime. No, no, no. Put them on a little drip tank and all they can have is prime. See if that kid turns into a fat <laughs> <laughs> Give me some XIX Prime. So, no, no, I've got oh, the XIX oh, you got <laughs> Prime. Tell me. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good. This is XIX Prime. What's the ratio? Okay, it's, about, it's about two to one. It needs more Prime. The orange is gone. There's no orange mm. anymore. The the XIX is too powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this because you don't even know how drunk you get and you can't see the liquid level. Oh, I'm going to try yeah, grape. We went with the grape. Now the grape is, I mean, I, I definitely overpowered it with Prime. That just tastes like Prime now, and I'm gonna get wasted. Has anyone mixed them all together? That's a, That's good, a good question. Idea. That's a good question. That's a yeah. good idea. We will create Super Prime. <laughs> XIX Super Prime. Sounds like a fucking COVID variant. <laughs> 
I'm not really a fan of grape. Because grape, the drink, tastes nothing like grape, the fruit. It's drinkable, but I would never choose to drink grape. I hope grape. so. I fucking give this a 10 out of 10. I love grape. So from off camera, we've got a 10 out of I'm 10. I'm actually mad how good Prime tastes, because I'm mad how much money they're going to make. Okay. So what is this? This is blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Now, this isn't a real flavor, but I love it. There isn't a blue raspberry. Oh, fuck. That slaps. It's I'm almost bad. like bubble gum. It tastes like the Slurpee flavor though. Yeah, it tastes like a Slurpee. Which is also not real flavor. Okay, so blue is my favorite so far. Uh, I would say blue is my favorite so far. As far as like compared to other things in its class, so. this shit's on other beverages. That tastes a bit, a bit like medicine. But yes. I, think, I think people like that though. Coca-Cola is going to pay them a trillion dollars. Mm, that's good. Dude, it just tastes like melted icy poles. It just tastes, yeah. yes, that is so it's good. It's not really sugary. Sometimes lemon lime, it tastes like liquid sugar. Do you, you have those frozen, like, flavored, like, icy pole, like, But okay. if you melted that and drank it, it would have so much sugar, you wouldn't yeah, be able to yeah, drink yeah. it. Whereas this but is it just still like... tastes like the flavor of those things. <gasps> Typo. It says ingredients. Ingredients. Maybe that's how they get around, like, some health classifications. Wait. This shit could literally cause cancer, and I have no idea. <laughs> but it tastes good, so... America. America. <laughs> There's probably hormones in this, dude. I'm gonna come out of here with, like... <laughs> Let's make Super Prime, and then we can add XX. We are gonna create a new flavor in Logan and KSI. We want some percentage... Take us to dinner or something. Take me out to dinner. We got blue, green, add the purple. This could either be the greatest thing ever created, or we could projectile vomit on each other <laughs> instantaneously. All right, cheers. Super Prime. That tastes good. I like that. Now it's time to take it Super Sam. XIX Super Prime. Look, I've had one sip of XIX and I'm fucking wasted. <laughs> That's the most efficient alcohol in the business. I put a lot in here too, so. That's good. It's good. Does it over, finally overpower XIX? You need every Prime together to, <laughs> to balance out with the it's XIX. It's like the feet in the super villain <laughs> with all our Primes combined. You want to rank them? Yeah, yeah, let's rank them. I reckon blue, orange, See, I'm gonna put green. See, I am going green. Really? Bembley, just because I think it's really drinkable. This is my taste list. I think yeah. that's probably the most drinkable though. Okay, that's my list and then. Yeah, and then that's my list. Fuck. Why didn't I think of making a really good beverage? God damn it, I'm jealous. They've made a brand that visually looks great and also I think genuinely is better than Powerade and Gatorade. They've fucking nailed it. Ah, uh, do we want to try chocolate bars and yeah, see if Beast that. is the proper Willy Wonka? Feastables Mr. Beast Bar. So we have three different flavors. We'll open that one up. I don't love the branding design. And I know fucking nothing. Whatever reason, it doesn't make me think chocolate. It doesn't make me desire whatever is in here. If I went into a supermarket and I saw boxes of different bars, this would fit right in along with them. This does not. It stands out a bit from the shelf. The, yeah. This does not look like every vodka no. bar ever. It's hard to do, but I think it's good to have something They're that stands out. They're also very clean. I think this is very complicated branding. I like the way the chocolate bars feel though. I like I that. like thin bars as well. So I look at things from a health perspective. Not good. It is fucking chocolate, Ooh, to be fair. 14 grams of saturated fat per bar. It's so like 700 per serving. 170. Yeah, oh, fuck half. off. Serving size is half a bar. I'm not saying he's done this, but That's the one thing that I hate about brands, they'll just do some stupid serving size to justify lowering their nutrition stats. I'm not a big chocolate person, so I probably would eat half the bar in a serving. <sighs> Yo, but hold up, can we win a prize? There's a thing you can peel off at the back. Wait, I've got to enter a code to go into the sweepstakes. Promotion Can't be asked. I want to go to Mr. Beast Willy Wonka factory. <laughs> you don't even get a ticket, you just get yeah. a chance to win by buying a bar. I don't know, I don't like that. I think somehow they should have found a way to put the golden tickets in it. So we're starting with the original chocolate bar. It doesn't have sections, it's just one bar. Cause you know what- dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark chocolate. Good. Fine, but I don't, I think there's better options. Why is it all dark chocolate? Why yeah, I don't mean? like dark chocolate that much, so maybe I'm just biased, but I just prefer to get like milk chocolate somewhere. See, I actually prefer dark chocolate cause it's healthier, but I know that milk chocolate is so much nicer. If I had to eat dark chocolate, I'd eat that. Please don't hate me, Mr. Beast, I love you. So we're going yeah. with the quinoa, quinoa crunch. crunch. I can't ever say I'd ever thought of a quinoa crunch chocolate bar in my life. I preferred that. I preferred the quinoa one. Now that was a good one. I'm going back for a second because I like the quinoa crunch. Right, I've already eaten. <laughs> I've been munching in all. Like me, like, hmm, I prefer milk chocolate. I mean, I've eaten the whole goddamn thing. So this so is the almond chocolate. With almond chunks. So this could be good. I like almonds. Maybe it was drinking the prime beforehand because this is. I'm enjoying this more and more as it goes. Mm. So, uh, well, I feel really fucking bad now. Um, <laughs> I can't taste the almond. I can't really either. I think this was the best so far, the quinoa. Mm-hmm. The almond, I don't get any new texture. 
I'm laughing myself sat here like I know what food is. I'm like, oh, you know, the texture of it. I'm chatting absolute shit. <laughs> but I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time. Yeah, yeah there's not really much funny shit you can say about chocolate other than, mm. does he have umpas lumpas making it? Like, what, what the fuck are we gonna say? If anyone's gonna, you know, have slave labor making his chocolate, it's probably gonna be Mr. Beast, just like. If any YouTuber out there was gonna be Willy Wonka, 100%. it would be Jimmy. Yeah. I could see him. And Willy, Willy Wonka just drowning kids in chocolate when they visit his factory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, anything for the views, anything for the concept. Six kids enter, one kid leaves. I still think I'm just a sucker for like the white chocolates and stuff like the that. Sugar. But That's what I like about Prime and um, yeah, I give him props Mr. for that. Bar is they're both healthier than they need to be because you can make unhealthy stuff taste amazing, but making healthy stuff taste good. Yeah, no, challenge. I think that they turned like the healthier option for chocolate into something good. I'm not going to review the side mint products, but everything else scores out 10 overall. Sides, I think I'll stay like 8 out of 10. We'll take that. Um, it's a top tier burger, top tier like fast food type cuisines. The vodka, I'll give a solid 9. It's up there with like all the club vodkas, like your Belvedere's, your Grey Gooses. As someone who drinks a little bit of bottles. it. Prime, I'd give a 10 out of 10. There's no, really? there's no other score. No, that's 100%. Wow. I always grew up loving Powerade. Every time I played sports, it was always uh -huh. Powerade and stuff. Take the biggest dogs in that industry, your Gatorades yeah. and stuff. I'd rather have Prime than them. I'm going to give Prime an 8 out of 10. But I feel like I'm really cynical. You might get a nine if you're lucky. These two flavors just, they just don't. I think that's reasonable, but I'm just assuming I like them all except red, and there's people that like that flavor. Sides, so I'd, I'd love to have that often, mm -hmm. but there would be other things that I'd, I'd eat sure. occasionally. That yeah. could be your staple. Yeah, that could be one of the solid staples. I'll go eight and a half. I'll go eight and a half. I think that's fair. I think that's a good man. This, I'm going to give a solid seven. I enjoyed it. I think it's really good. I just don't think it's my favorite kind of chocolate. And maybe that's just because I like unhealthy pieces of shit. Maybe. Um, I'll give it an eight, but that's bumped up because I like dark chocolate. The quinoa crunch was something I've never experienced before. And I think it did really well. And it was a really nice texture. I could obviously eat that. It was very good. And I think a YouTuber that makes a product you can actually fucking eat is that's enough really they all did it right bare minimum they've done a really good job and they're all like valuable products i think prime just shits on fucking like everything <laughs> <laughs> like that is i saw all those tweets and all those reviews with people saying it's so good and everything i was like nah they're fucking bunging it on and there you go i'm like you've seen the light that is gonna be it for uh, our video of trying everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did the usual stuff, leave a like. If you don't know who Lannan is, um, go and subscribe to his channel. He makes amazing content. So hopefully we'll be linking up again later on this year. We're trying to convince the man to become a Londoner for a little bit. A little bit, a um, little bit. In that right, governor, in it, you'll, in you'll it. fit right in. In it. You'll fit right in. Or queen, in it. The worst part is some people watching this won't understand my sarcasm. And they'll, and they'll think I'm actually yeah. in this. We will see you all next time. Thanks and goodbye.